Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Bashim Raka Kudash, Barakata. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and infinite honors to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule well, and peace and salutations to Yahakim out there pushing this uh, word and truth and sincerity to the four corners of the globe. May you brothers endure until the end. We're almost out of here. This is a brother Raya with another video. And I'm going to be using an article from the telegraph.co.uk titled Venezuela hit by first case of polio since 1989 as country falls deeper into crisis. Things just keep getting worse for Venezuela. They have the economic collapse. They have food shortages, the cannibalism. You've had a rape, robbery and murder. Women selling their hair for money. Uh, Venezuela is a member of OPEC. And they're not being, and they're not able to keep up the refineries, so they're not even sure if they'll be able to get revenue from uh, their oil. And now you've got uh, them getting hit with diseases such as polio, among other uh, pestilences that are about to come upon them. Things are just uh, getting worse and worse, but it's all prophecy. And uh, what's happening in Venezuela is just a beta test for what's going to happen to the U.S. as well as the rest of the world. And uh, this brings me first to Matthew chapter 24, verse 7. For nation shall rise against nation, and a nation is a race of people. And you're seeing these race, uh, race uh, relations deteriorate out here. People are starting to turn against each other. So-called white people against so-called black people. So-called white people against so-called uh, Latinos. And now you've got... Uh, Things falling apart over in Europe where you've got the Italians turning against the immigrants coming from North Africa and such and kingdom against kingdom you're seeing how these relations are looking between um, the United States and China as well as the United States and its own allies over tariffs and there shall be famines such as in Venezuela and also in Yemen and pestilences Look at what's going on, what we're about to read about in uh, Venezuela with polio. And they're going to talk about a few other diseases or pestilences as well. And earthquakes, such as what happened in Guatemala and also Hawaii in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. We haven't even gotten to the nitty gritty yet. Martial law, full blown race wars, and the implementation of that uh, Mark of the Beast microchip. This is just an appetizer for what's to come. And um, with this happening to Venezuela, again, it's prophecy because the Venezuelans are part of the northern tribes. They're uh, Asherites. And as it says in 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 17, For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. And the house of the Most High are the twelve tribes of Israel, which uh, Venezuela being uh, of the tribe of Asher are a part of. And if it first begin at us... What shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High? And you're going to start seeing more and more things happening to the 12 tribes. Again, with Venezuela and also with that earthquake that happened in Guatemala. You're seeing what's happening to Jake, mainly you Judites in America getting gunned down by those cops. But uh, while all this is happening to us, you uh, other nations, you've got nothing to look forward to. Because as it said, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High? You can't receive this word. Only if uh, your lineage goes back to one of the 12 tribes of Israel can you receive this word. As it says in uh, Psalms chapter 147, I'm going to start at verse 19. He being the Most High, sheweth his word unto Jacob, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, as well as you confusion of face Israelites that come looking as the other nations out there, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel, so Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is only dealing with uh, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. He hath not dealt so with any nation, you other heathen nations, you heathen Gentiles, such as you so-called white people, you so-called Chinese, which are the Moabites, you so-called Arabs, which are the Ishmaelites, and so on. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye Yahweh. So you heathens better hope you can make it out of this uh, nuclear destruction that's coming because salvation is only for uh, the Israelites, which again are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And even then, that only applies to the 144,000 elect as well as the righteous one-third. You two-thirds are going to receive the same judgment as these other heathens because you're living as heathens. And just to further in the point that the Most High only came for his people, 
I'm going to go to Matthew chapter 1, verse 21 in the New Testament. And he shall bring and Slaki, and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweshai, the Messiah, for he shall save his people from their sins. So only you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans in confusion of face. Let's get back to it. And this is a look a lot of you uh Israelites are going to have in the foreseeable future a completely bewildered look because you're not going to know what's going to happen because if you haven't received this word you're going to be in darkness nearly 30 years after declaring polio eradicated in Venezuela the first case of the disease has been reported in the country as it reels from an economic crash crippling its health care system the case in the eastern state of Delta Amacuro was reported as basic vaccine coverage continued to fall amid worsening political and economic crisis. The news comes as the country faces an increase in other diseases, some as formally eradicated such as diphtheria, tuberculosis, measles, and malaria, pestilences. And not just this, not just these natural diseases, which are going to be making a big comeback, but uh, the elites of the world are going to start releasing man-made biological viruses out into the public to quell the herd, especially the CDC, the Center uh, for Disease Control. <laughs> Polio or pol poliomyelitis can be a crippling childhood disease but it is preventable through immunization. In Delta Amacuro, where the case was discovered, vaccine coverage only reached 67%, according to a statement from a local watchdog group. The government is not approving the money for the vaccines, said MP Manuela Bolivar, a member of the country's opposition-controlled National Assembly, who is studying the surge of infectious diseases. It's lucky. This situation is unfortunate, but we saw it coming because we've been denouncing for years that there are not enough vaccines, she said. While the government launched a vaccination campaign on April 6 against 14 diseases, including tuberculosis and measles, critics say not enough vaccines are arriving to cover the demand. As the country's crisis has deepened, the government has struggled to afford uh, imports of basic foods, medicine, and vaccines. President Nicolas Maduro has blamed the deteriorating economic situation on an economic war led by business interests in the United States to topple his socialist government while denying uh, that a humanitarian crisis exists. And the U.S. does have a big part in this because the U.S. has been butthurt from uh, Hugo Chavez trying to nationalize uh, all of Venezuela's uh, resources and with Venezuela on the decline now and uh, being a member of OPEC you can uh, best believe that the US doesn't want Venezuela to start moving towards Russia and China to deal with their oil according to the country's vice minister for health in Hriana Parada the country guarantees essential medicines through a system of distribution to the most vulnerable sectors a statement she made in a presentation to the World Health Organization on May 23rd. But other medical organizations, such as Code Vita, which monitors the shortages of medicines, affirms that 90% of medicines and essential vaccines have disappeared from the pharmacy shelves. Last week, an image of Elizabeth Salazar, 63 years old, raising her shirt to reveal her rotting breast, spread rapidly on local social networks. Again, pestilences. And a lot of you Israelite women are going to receive the same fate. Your, your skin's going to rot off. Your weave's going to uh, do the same. You're just going to be in a bad spot. You won't be able to get uh, tampons for your periods. No man's going to want to touch you. They're going to use you as a, a food source. I still haven't been able to receive the first dose of chemotherapy because it's not available in the Venezuelan Social Security Institute, Salazar told Amnesty International. 
Venezuela has also accounted for 85% of cases of measles reported across Latin America and the Caribbean over the past year, according to the Pan American Health Organization. It's also going to spread to you other uh, Central and South American and island countries as well. Because not only are you Jake's, but these Venezuelans are trying to leave Venezuela and go into your countries, and some of them have these diseases. Of the 11 countries that reported cases, Venezuela had the overwhelming majority of cases, but also 35 deaths since mid-2017, according to the international organization. Cases of measles have been reported in 17 out of 23 of the country's states and in the capital, Caracas. Monitoring the collapsing public health system had been complicated by a lack of access to public health data. Local health authorities took more than a month to notify the PAHO that they had identified a case of polio, although international health regulations require them to do so within 24 hours. I think this is a state policy to not assume the crisis because it would be assuming the failure of the health system created by Hugo Chavez, Ms. Bolivar said. We got anything else? Authorities at the health ministry did not respond to requests for comments on Sunday. Symptoms of the polio virus include fever, sore throat, vomiting, and muscle weakness, or stiffness and a spread by eating food or contaminate or water contaminated with infected fecal matter. While most fully recover, in rare cases the disease can cause paralysis and death. We got a little bit more. The virus especially affects people in conditions of malnutrition and unvaccinated, as in this case, and will be for a lot of you people in America, because when there's a food shortage, you're going to be in a state of malnutrition. You're going to be open to anything, said Dr. Jose uh, Felix Oleta, a former minister of health. According to the PAHO, the case of polio was discovered among an isolated and impoverished indigenous group. Delta Amacuro, the state where the case of polio was discovered, is home to the Wawaro communities, an indigenous group that lives in the riverside huts on Venezuela's Orinoco Delta. The Wawara have already been racked by an HIV epidemic. A 2013 study found that 10% of the community had been infected with the virus that causes AIDS. So man, Venezuela's just getting ravaged. And again, this is just a appetizer for what's to come to the rest of the world, especially in the United States. And this brings me to my uh, next precept in Amos chapter 5, verse 18. 